I told you people you thought I was lying all the time. I got him standing right behind me here. You are lying. He don't want to stand in front of me. He's standing behind me. Mr. Harry Chapin. Hello, Harry. You're lying. No, I'm lying. You're lying. No, this no, is not Harry Chapin. No, tell him that, Harry, because nobody believes me in this town anyway. Now, if you tell him that I, you're not Harry Chapin, they're going to say, There's yeah. a credibility gap in, in your life? Is I, that... I think that's what it is. What did you tell him that didn't happen once? Well, I told a lot. I can't go into that right now. A I lot, a lot of lies in the past. Huh? Yeah, I've lost a lot of jobs about that. But, oh, I mean, wow. you know, I'm trying to straighten my life out. No, seriously, this is Harry Chapin, people. If you'll get the camera in and adjust your radios, you can see. This is Harry Chapin. No, seriously, though, we're glad you're here, man. It's good to be here. I was, I was here a couple of years ago. I did a hunger benefit. Uh, back uh, this time to do, I guess it's a Harry Chapin benefit tonight. Every once in a while I sing for my supper. Yeah. We do about 200 concerts a year. and uh, the, uh, Actually, you know, it actually isn't really a Harry. We're getting paid, but there's also at the same time, it's, uh, the proceeds go to uh, the uh, Big Brother. Uh, yeah, Big Brother's two sides. Yeah. yeah, and they do, uh, they do good work. They do a lot. I guess a lot of the concerts that come in, uh, they... Uh, co-promote and that's sort of a good idea sure what's do. uh what's going on around here hey, since i left a lot of stuff man we've got beautiful weather that's the main thing oh i love it you, i mean i came from weather? from new york this winter where i live and i gotta tell you we had uh, weather that we didn't want weather you didn't want i, I had for uh, six days i was living in a house where it was at one, at one point it was 14 degrees inside the house <laughs> inside the and house. I'm sitting there with a, a frying pan with a glove in my hand, some asbestos fake fire logs burning, right? <laughs> and some scrambled eggs trying to cook. For, it was, we had no heat, no light, no phone, no hot water. It's because we had an ice storm. That's and uh, all, every, nice. tree, every tree in Long Island was covered with about an inch of ice, so they all fell down and broke off all the power lines. So well, it sounds nothing. like a lot of fun, Harry. <clears throat> I'm glad I was here. <laughs> I missed that. No, but uh, the show is at, what, 7.30 tonight, 7.30, right? yeah, I think uh, there's a couple seats uh, left. Well, maybe but, a few, uh, maybe but a does few. It doesn't okay. matter, we do the same show either way, always have a good time. It's you, got any, you got any new stuff you're going to be... Uh, yeah, I got a new album back? coming out uh, May 8th, and uh, we got about, uh, we'll do about four or five new things, plus uh, a lot of new things since I was here last time. Uh, it was interesting, I got the last album, Dance Band on the Titanic, got some uh, wild reactions uh, from the press, especially, I love it. Three weeks ago, I got two reviews that are indicative. One was from um, the uh, Stereo re Review, and they said, no wonder it sank. <laughs> and the other one was for the London Times, which was reviewing the albums of all of 1977. And so they called Dance Band the Titanic the album of the year. Somewhere right. in between is the truth. But, uh, <laughs> actually, I forgot to tell you that my mother writes for the London Times. <laughs> You, will, you, you are going to be doing some new stuff, though. So I mean, we've had a lot of people call about the concert and say, is it going to be doing new stuff? I yeah, I'm, so I've got to... At the same time, you know, I always do Taxi and Cats in the Cradle and WOLD and, yeah. uh, and uh, the Banana Song. Now, that's the one I like. Yeah, do I you, love that song. Do you play that thing on the air here? Because uh, uh, with all the uh, <clears throat> help in the middle from the audience? <laughs> I really like that song. Uh, no, I, I got it at home. I play it. What? Ask him to sing it? I can't sing. He he Fifteen have, minutes of... The director comes Actually, in and says, I ask him to sing it. I'll sing I will it. do for you okay. right now a dramatic, half-sung, half-read version of a new song that I did on The Tonight Show and that I got more reactions from than any song I have ever done on television. I got more letters than Cats in the Cradle or Taxi or WLD. I saw the show. It was the one I did with Davidson. Yeah. And yeah. Well, let me, let me just... I have a bunch of kids. My wife had three kids when I met her, and we've had two since by the normal methods. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, they're coming into contact with the American educational system. The youngest two are five and six for kindergarten and first grade. But beyond that, the song was really triggered by the fact that my secretary's son, who was eight years old and a wonderful boy, came home with the following report card. Now catch this. You, can, you may not believe it, but it's true. Your son marches to the beat of a different drummer, comma, but don't worry... We'll have him joining the parade by the end of the term. Oh, nice. Now, if you could bastardize the row like that, I mean, you know, it suggests all kinds of possibilities. But think what you could do with uh, <laughs> the Frost, Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in the wood, and I took the one more traveled by. I don't know. There's all kinds <laughs> of possibilities. Well, anyway, let me do this song. It's about education. I will speak the verses, and then I will try to sing the chorus. A cappella. God, if only I sounded like Gary Puckett. Um, here we go. And the Union Gale. Yeah. And the Gap Union. Yeah, well, you, you're the, you, Gary Puck in the credibility gap with oh. you around. Okay. <laughs> now, here we go. The little boy went first day of school. He got some crayons and he started to draw. He put colors all over the paper, for colors was what he saw. The teacher said, what you doing, young man? I'm painting flowers, he said. 
She said, it's not the time for art, young man, and anyway, flowers are green and red. There's a time for everything, young man, and a way it should be done. You've got to show concern for everyone else, for you're not the only one. And she said, flowers are red, young man, green leaves are green. There's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. But the little boy said, there are so many colors in the rainbow, so many colors in the morning sun, so many colors in the flower, and I see every one. Well, the teacher said, you're sassy. There's ways that things should be, and you'll paint flowers the way they are, so repeat after me. And she said, flowers are red, young man, green leaves are green. There's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. But the little boy said, there are so many colors in the rainbow, so many colors in the morning sun, so many colors in a flower, and I see every one. Well, the teacher put him in a corner. She said, it's for your own good, and you won't come out till you get it right and are responding like you should. Well, finally, he got lonely, and frightened thoughts filled his head, and he went up to the teacher, and this is what he said. And he said, flowers are red, green leaves are green. There's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. Well... Time went by like it always does, and they moved to another town, and the little boy went to another school, and this is what he found. The teacher there was smiling, and she said, painting should be fun. There are so many colors in a flower, let's use every one. But that little boy painted flowers in neat rows of green and red, and when the teacher asked him why, this is what he said. He said, flowers are red, green leaves are green. There's no need to see flowers any other way than the way they always have been seen. But there still must be a way to have our children say, There are so many colors in the rainbow, so many colors in the morning sun, so many colors in a flower, and I see every one. All right. Hey, Sound of one hand clapping. I'll get some more in a minute. Okay. A mini concert right here on the radio from Harry Chapin. Oh, and Ed Alexander brought a T-shirt in here. A presentation here. We're going to have you, yeah. KTKT99, I love you, Tucson, and Tucson loves you, Harry Chapin. So well, all right. Hey, thanks a lot that? for having me here. Hey, uh, it's a pleasure it. being had. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> but, hey, thanks a lot for coming by. Take okay. time. Thank Come you. By. We'll see you later. We'll see you tonight at the concert. Okay. If they'll let me come on, by, you come by a couple of minutes early. We have a little food there, and uh, we always have too much, so uh, join us for dinner. Hey, I can always use food. Yeah. Well, you are skinny. <laughs> you are skinny. That's definitely true. Good <laughs> Yeah. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot, lot, everybody. Keep the change. Okay. Thank you, Harry. I told you, people. You didn't believe me, but he showed up. Harry Chapin.